Hey everybody and welcome to another video. Installing new EV charging stations is very expensive, so we need to do everything we can to make it cheaper to install these. There's a number of factors that go into the cost of installing these chargers. Those can include concrete work that needs to be done, the wiring, the conduit, the network capabilities that allow the charger to connect to the internet, the computer that communicates with the electric vehicle during its charging session, and the labor that gets used to do all of that work. But what if the bulk of that installation work was already done for you? That's pretty much the concept behind lamp post EV chargers. These chargers utilize the existing wiring that's already been put in place to power a street lamp. And since most of that infrastructure work is already done, these chargers cost a whole lot less and can be installed much quicker than a traditional EV charger. But something I noticed while looking at all of these chargers is that there's no cable attached to any of them. So this means the driver ends up being the one responsible for their own charging cable. For example, in order to use Ubitricity's lamp post chargers in the past, you needed to purchase a special charging cable from Ubitricity, and this thing included the, that computer that connects to your electric vehicle and the network capabilities that allow you to pay for your charging session. But it sounds like you don't need to purchase that special charging cable anymore, and you can just use a standard CCS Type 2 cable instead. This makes the experience a lot better for drivers, since they no longer need to purchase that cable that exclusively works with Ubitricity's charging sockets. Of course, doing it this way ends up shifting the cost of that computer and the network capabilities back onto the charging equipment owner, so these lamp post chargers become a little bit more expensive than they were previously. Another issue I've noticed with these lamp post chargers is that a lot of them aren't reserved for electric vehicles only, so a traditional internal combustion engine vehicle can still park in front of that lamp post and block access to that charger. But I think these problems are solvable, and I think it's a pretty good idea to integrate these chargers into lamp posts. This concept is similar to what Volta does, where they combine EV charging with advertisement displays, so both of those devices can share the same infrastructure. Another thing I found interesting is that Shell had acquired Ubitricity in 2021, and now Shell is going on to acquire Volta. Of course, Shell has acquired other EV charging networks as well, but I just thought it was an interesting similarity between both of these companies. But that's about it for today. If you haven't seen my analysis video on ChargePoint stock in 2023, be sure to check that video out. I hope everybody enjoyed, and I hope to see all of you in the next video.